report by in our claims by Anam Dekano is anything to go by, then it is safe to say that Chinese Jacques Liahoas now firmly in charge of Buhari's government. This is what Nam Dekano claims in his new post. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop, Nam Dekano, has claimed that the presidential villa is now being run by the Chinese Civil Engineering Construction Company, CCECC. Nam Dekano stated this in reaction to a recent revelation by Nigerian's Minister of Health, Dr. Osage Ehaniri, that the President Muhammad Buhari led federal government did not invite, invite the Chinese doctors who came into the country last Wednesday to help with the fight against the COVID 19. Ehaniri made the remark during an appearance on Channel TV's news at 10 on Saturday. Daily Post recalls that a 15-man COVID-19 medical team was invited to assist Nigeria in efforts to contain the pandemic. I think in the first place we didn't bring them in and I think China Civil Engineering Construction Company in its own wisdom and probably in its own corporate social responsibility thought they should bring people in to come and help us and give advice, the minister had said. Kano wondered how a foreign company had such authority to bring in their doctors into the country at a critical time like this and the minister was not ashamed to say it on air. He noted that the same Chinese people that were busy humiliating Nigerians and other black Africans in their country were now the people running the government of Nigeria. What we knew happened has now been confirmed. A government of scammers, forgers and fraudsters have been caught in their own web of lies. Confusion upon confusion, lies upon lies, Deceit upon deceit, fraud upon fraud, impunity upon impunity, can wrote on Facebook. Shamefully, the Minister of Health has confirmed that a common Chinese company based in Abuja are the people effectively in charge of their COVID-19 response and strategy, which means the same Chinese people are, that are busy humiliating black Africans in their country are now the people running the government of Nigeria, as I have always maintained. Nigeria was formed by a British business venture by the name Real Niger Company, and today its disembarment is being presided over by another business entity, this time around the Chinese-owned China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation. Its executive director, Jackis Leao, is the one now firmly in charge of the government of Nigeria in the absence of Abakiari and the rest of the Fulani looters. Nigeria started as a business and has ended as a business enterprise. Funny enough, it was from this same China that Frederick Lugard was recalled back to England and given the order to head to West Africa to take over the fledging colony from Royal Niger Company. Ironically, it is also from the same China that another company, CCECC, has been mandated to preside over the end of Nigeria full cycle of life completed for the animal kingdom he wrote so guys what do you think concerning this news and the new claims of nam de Kano? well his claims are actually his claims that's his opinion uh, i'll say but the federal government uh, itself you know are the ones giving rooms for 
you know such claims like as this one because they are the ones to be faulted if they had you know been opened up if they had if they have been transparent if they had been um, very very uh, if they had been very very straightforward opened transparent then right from the beginning there won't be room for such claims as this one so it is really really sad and unfortunate that this particular uh claim is coming at this time to further dent the image of the federal government of nigeria you know the chinese company if they were truly the ones that invited these guys in a bid to you know actually assist as a way of their own social responsibilities corporate social responsibility then why didn't the federal government say it from the beginning so if the chinese company the cccc is actually coming up to assist the government as a way of giving back to the community or giving back to the government under the csr uh, program then they would have written to the federal government spoken to representatives of the government so who gave the approval was there any committee appointed to actually sit down think you know brainstorm and approve this particular um, request from the china company so if there was none then who approved of the move who approved the invitation somebody somewhere in the government or in the presidency approved it so having approved it they came they kept on even when nigerians were speaking against it the government of nigeria kept on insisting they kept insisting that the chinese would come they were coming with this they were coming with that they were coming with you know you know materials ppes that is valued at over a hundred thousand or whatever dollars or hundred thousand or such amount was quoted you know so guys if they had been straightforward from the beginning and let Nigerians know that, okay, this is a corporate social responsibility effort by the CCCC and not a direct invitation from the federal government, you know, people would have known and understood. Instead of firing the government, people would, you know, channel their griefs or their uh, disdain to other people. But be that as it may, guys, it is the federal government that has given room for such claims. They continued to, you know, uh, to, to insist. Yes, they continued to insist on the coming of the Chinese, despite the Nigerian Medical Association and other bodies and individuals, you know, raising their voice against such motives or such moves. As a listening government, they probably would have, you know, sat down with other relevant bodies and discuss with them advise or suggest and open up to them and make them understand that look this is what is going on this is what we need to do this is what we need to do not after the, the whole thing the guys have actually arrived to the country you're not coming out to say that no this is not the federal government's initiative this is not this it is the china the whatever whatever all these are medicine after death we understand how you know the government uh, the people in the government behave they feel that since they are the ones in charge, since they are the government, they can do anything and um, nothing would happen or nothing will come after it. It is really unfortunate, it is really, really sad that this is how the government and the administration of President Muhammad Buhari has decided to you know, run the affairs of this country. Now look at the claims that Namdekano is making. Could it be true? In as much as I do not believe it is true, but you know, Inam of commands a high level of followers, and before you know it, people will start believing and accepting this particular claims. So it is the government that is giving, you know, our critics what to say, and the claims they are making.
it is unfortunate. The image makers of this government are total failures. They are total failures. The advisors of this administration are wrong advisors. I think the president needs to do away with his advisors, image makers, and reappoint or look for better ones. Well, guys, these are my views and my thoughts on this particular news story. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but guys, it's what it is. Drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Let us know what you feel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please hit the bell icon as well so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.